Good day. In this tutorial video, you will learn about the nature of mathematics, mathematics in our world. Here are our learning outcomes. At the end of this video, you must be able to identify patterns in nature and regularities in the world, articulate the importance of mathematics in your life, argue about the nature of mathematics, what it is, how it is expressed, represented, and used, and express appreciation for mathematics as a human endeavor. Before we proceed to the content of our discussion, let's have first this illustration and let's relate it later on to mathematics. As you can see, meron tayong isang elepante at anim na bulag ng mga tao. Meron silang kanya-kanyang pwesto at Masasabi kaya nila na yung kanilang nasisense ay isang elepante kung bulag sila. So let's have this. Itong bulag na taong to, nasa taas, mayaaring sabihin niyang it's a fan. Kasi nga yung penga. Itong bulag naman na taong ito, nasisense niya yung pangil ng elepante, maaari niyang sabihin na ito isang sibat. Ito naman, itong ilong ng elepante, mas pwede niyang sabihin na it's a snake, a hasdraw. Ito naman, na nasa paanan ng paan ng elepante, maaari niyang sabihin na ito isang puno. Ito naman, na hinahawakan niyang buntot, pwede niyang sabihin na ito isang tali. Ito namang bulag na taong ito, Pwede nang sabihin na ito ay isang wall. Now, let's relate it to mathematics. Kung itong elepanteng to ay yung mathematics mismo, at tayo itong mga bulag na taong ito, ibig sabihin lamang yan na ang pananaw ng tao sa mathematics ay hindi pare-pareho. Magkakaiba tayo ng pananaw at perspektibo tungkol sa mathematics. Let's proceed. Let's have this another illustration. As you can see, it is a pattern. Dito, meron tayong 2 by 2. Dito naman ay 3 by 3. Siyempre, alam natin na isusunod must be 4 by 4. Next, tignan natin yung may kulay. Dito, isa yung kulay green, isa doon sa taas. Dito naman, dalawa, 2 by 2, isa doon sa taas. Sa susunod na illustration natin, dapat meron tayong tatlong green or 3 by 3 na kulay green at isa doon sa taas. That's it. Another. We have this set of patterns. Then, of course, what will be the next figure here? After triangle, we have circle. How about this one? Of course, we all know the answer. This one. Next to the inverted triangle, we have an hexagon. The simplest mathematical objects are numbers. Lahat tayo alam kung ano ang numbers. And the simplest of nature's patterns are numerical. Meron nga bang numbers sa ating kapaligiran? Let's see. The number of petals for the given flowers here. One petal. Ito naman ay dalawang petals. Ito ay tatlo. Lima. Mawalo. 13, 21, to I 34. So, ibig sabihin, doon sa petals ng mga bulaklak, may merong numbers. Another example, here sa pattern natin ay isang spiral. 
saan tayo makakakita sa ating kapaligiran na mayroong spiral pattern. Of course, alam natin doon sa sunflower, yung buto ng sunflower. Another example is yung pine cone. Ito, makikita natin meron siyang spiral pattern. At makakakita pa tayo ng iba't ibang pattern sa ating kapaligiran tulad ng nakikita ninyo, ninyo sa ating illustration. Next, isa sa pinakasikat na mathematicians in the medieval Europe ay si Leonardo of Pisa or also known as Fibonacci. So, siya ang gumawa doon sa rabbit problem that concerns the birth rate of rabbits. Ito yung rabbit problem natin. At the beginning of a month, you are given a pair of newborn rabbits. So, first month natin, a pair of newborn rabbits. After a month, the rabbits have produced no offspring. So, after a month daw, wala muna silang anak. However, every month thereafter, the pair of rabbits produces another pair of rabbits. So, sakalang sila magkakaroon ng offspring after another month. The offspring reproduce in exactly the same manner. If none of the rabbits dies, how many pairs of rabbits will there be at the start of each succeeding month? Let's have this illustration. During the first month, of course, there will be no offspring. After the third month, a pair of rabbits will have a pair of of spring. So, there will be two pairs of new rabbits then. After four months, of course, there must be three pairs of rabbits. Why? Kasi, itong rabbit na to, dumagpas na sila doon sa month na hindi sila mga nganak. Siyempre, mga nganak na rin sila. Ulit. And then, itong newborn baby, after one month, wala muna silang anak. So, after four months, merong tatlong pairs of rabbits. How about after five months? Ito, of course, mga anak na. Another pair. Ito naman, since kapapanganak pa lang, after one month, hindi mo sila mga anak. Ito, itong pair na to, since dumaan na sila doon sa month na hindi sila manganak, after another month, manganak na sila. So, there are five pairs of rabbits after five months. Now, after six months, of course, the same pattern ito, magkakaroon ng walong pairs of rabbits after eight months. Next, <clears throat> okay, next, where is mathematics? Saan nga ba ang mathematics? Practically speaking, it is everywhere. So kahit saan makikita natin ang Mathematics. Sample. Sa fingerprints natin, mayroong pattern. Sa pakpak ng dragonfly, mayroong pattern dyan. In given infrastructures, mga buildings, mayroong din mathematics. Dito, sa COVID-19, yung mga number of cases, confirmed cases natin, yung deaths, recoveries, these are mathematics. Ito rin, yung graph ng pagtaas ng cases ng COVID-19 is also mathematics. What is mathematics for? 
para saan ang mathematics works to organize patterns, regularities, and irregularities, and to predict or even control weather epidemics and to provide tools for calculations. Halimbawa nito, para malaman natin yung populasyon ng isang bansa, kailangan natin ng mathematics. The total population of the Philippines in 2019 ay 106.9 million. Ngayon, nagsasagawa sila ng census para naman alamin yung total population ng ating bansa ngayong taong ito. As you can see, there are patterns here na mapepredict natin that in the year 2019 here will also increase. Pagkapag ka nagtuloy-tuloy yung pattern na pataas, of course, in the 2020, masasabi natin na mas lalong tataas ulit ang population ng Pilipinas. Of course, we can use also mathematics to see the direction of a typhoon. Ito. Ayan. So, kung nanonood kayo ng balita or weather forecast, nasasabi na nila kung saan patungo yung bagyo before mag-landfall. Next, what is mathematics about? Of course, it is numbers. Mathematics is all about numbers. The simplest numbers are those used in counting. Pero noon kasi, unang panahon, hindi pa nila ginagamit yung, yung symbol na 1, 2, 3. They use their fingers, twigs ng puno, stones, and objects that can help them count. At present, the set of counting numbers is also called the set of natural numbers. Take note of that. Between 400 and 1200 AD, the concept of zero was invented and accepted as denoting a number. So in a history book, it says that the key idea was the invention of a symbol for nothing. So zero, it represents nothing. The next extension of the number concept is the invention of negative numbers. So kanina, meron tayo 1, 2, 3, 4. Those are the natural or counting numbers. Meron tayong zero. Ngayon naman, na-invent yung negative numbers. Negative 1, negative 2, and then etc. When zero, negative numbers and the counting numbers are combined, kapag ka pinag-combine natin yung tatlong yan, it is called integers. We also have fractions, of course. Hindi mawawala yan. Positive and negative fractions together with the integers, okay, fractions plus integers are called rational numbers. Meron tayong mga numbers na hindi pwedeng express into fractions. At yung numbers na yun ay tinatawag nating irrational. Example ay yung square root ng 2. Ayan. Square root of 2 ay isang irrational number. Rational numbers and irrational numbers, when they are combined, they form a larger number. And this larger number is what we call the set of real numbers. Now, the introduction of square roots of negative numbers, alam natin that it is an imaginary number. It will lead us into complex numbers. So now, we have five number systems. So, they are the natural numbers, integers, rational numbers, real numbers, and complex numbers. So that means that mathematics is all about numbers. Is mathematics is only about numbers? Mathematics is also about operations. At alam natin yung four fundamental operations. Yung addition, 
multiplication, division, subtraction, and in the higher mathematics, there is what we call the binary operations. Example, 2 plus 4, 5 times 10. So mathematics is also about operations. Mathematics is also about functions. And function is often defined using algebraic formulas. So alam natin yung mga formulas natin and they, and they are functions. Example, twice a number. Okay? So, 2 times 1 becomes 2. 2 times 2 it becomes 4. That's function. Next, mathematics is also a thingification of processes. Sinabi natin thingification, it is the fact or process of turning something into a thing. So, alam natin yung mga numbers ay abstract lamang. Magiging bagay lamang sila kapag in-associate natin sila sa iba pang bagay. For example, the number 4 is not a thing but a process. The number 4 is turned into thing when it is associated to children. So that is 4 children. 5 cars. Yung 5 doon ay abstract pero pag sinama natin yung 5 cars, magiging bagay. So, it's a process of turning something into a thing. So, that's the thingification of processes. And lastly, mathematics is also about proof. A proof is an argument, a justification, a reason that something is true. It answers the question, why? So, example, why is 2 plus 2? equals 2 times 2. So you have to prove this using reasoning. So that is also mathematics is all about. Okay? Next, how is mathematics done? Mathematics is done out of curiosity. And doing mathematics is just like doing art. Paano natin nasabi na it's just like doing art? Kasi nga, marami tayong mga pamamaraan para masolve ang isang mathematics problem. Next, who uses mathematics? Sino ang gumagamit ng mathematics? Of course, practically speaking, everyone uses mathematics. At hindi lingit yan sa ating kaalaman. Okay, so that is all about the nature of mathematics. Thank you for listening and bless you all.